Steve, uh, Steve here from ACK. I uh, wanted to talk to you for a couple of minutes about water storage and water transport. Um, primarily uh, while you're camping, uh, some of these would apply to kayaking. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe a couple of them would apply to, uh, to biking. But for the most part, um, what I've got laid out here today is, is a, some great ideas, great ways that you can transport, store, and move water around your campsites. So, you know, first option is this little GSI plastic bag. Super strong, BPA free, folds up really nice and tight, fits in your pocket when you're not using it. So if you wanted a way to get some containers to your campsite and then you're gonna filter water at camp, and uh, and put them inside uh, put the water in this and then use this for your drinking water at camp great way to get it there without taking up very much space has a nice protective flip cap on it so you can drink straight out of it and keep it clean while it's in your pack or uh, while it's laying around the campsite top twists off for easy fill uh, like i said super durable uh, tested one of these by filling with water and, and jumping on it cap doesn't open, they don't leak. Um, that being said, before I threw this in my pack, I would, you know, filled with water, I would obviously test it um, because things do happen and you might have a sharp object that eventually pierces this. So, you know, always be safe, test these items. And that goes really for all these items. Test them before first use, test them before a big trip because the last thing you want to do is get out to camp, get out on the water, get out on your bike and, and have something that's leaking down your back or leaking all over your boat or leaking, you know, all over the inside of your tent. Um, next option or another option are foldable water carriers. I got a one gallon version here. I got a five gallon version here. What's great about these, you can see that's really tight and compact, but when I'm ready to, uh, when I'm ready to use it, Pull it out. There's a nice tab on here that helps you sort of straighten it out. And once the water's in here, it'll it'll form out as well. But now I have a five-gallon water container. Uh, this one's pretty nice, uh, great for using at base camp because it does have the spigot mouth. So once I have it with water, I can lay it on the edge of a table, put it on a rock or a log, and I can open and close this valve to fill uh, my water bottles or my cooking pots or whatever else I need. Uh, when I'm done with it, I can pretty easily close it back up into its original form. Now one thing I want to say when you're, when you're storing these, I mean it, it goes without saying, but they've got to be dry before you store them and close them, otherwise you're going to open them back up for your next trip. And, they're gonna, they're gonna smell like your last trip and worse, and you're gonna have all kinds of funny stuff going on in there. So anyway, fold back down. One gallon version does the same thing. Um, once, uh, you know, once you're done with it, store it properly, and, and you, know, you should get years out of this. But once again, it, it is a plastic material, so test them before you go relying on them for your, for your big trip. Um, some other options around camp that, um, you know, they're not closed and sealed, but this is called a bail pail. Um, it can be used for bailing out a boat if, if that's what you want, but it's also great for moving water from a stream or a lake up to your campsite. It, it's really just a, a heavy duty bucket with a canvas strap. It folds down nice and tight about 12 liters of capacity. You know, I can almost get that in my pocket, not that I would carry it there, but you know, three or four of these around the campsite means I can move water back and forth really quickly and easily. Um, this one happens to come from NRS. I got another one here called the Pocket Bucket, 11 and a half liters. Comes with a, a nifty carry pouch, um, and it does go back into the pouch, because prior to filming this, I pulled it out of the pouch and fold it back up and put it back in. It takes a little bit of effort. I'm not sure I would store it in that pouch all the time, but uh, you know, as you can see, it's very similar to the bail pail. 
a uh, tiny bit smaller, but uh, a little more lightweight. So if you're worried about uh, weight in your pack, uh, maybe a few of these pocket buckets work uh, a little bit better. And they obviously, because they're lighter weight, they pack down a little bit tighter than the, uh, than the bail pad. But uh, great option, bucket type option. These also work great for uh, sinks. You can fill one with hot water, fill one with cold water and your ammonia or, or a bleach, sorry, bleach or dishwashing soap solution and one more with clean water and then you've got your three bucket washing system. Um, and you know, obviously size them accordingly. There are some other options out there that are a little bit bigger if you're you know, doing some car camping or something where you have bigger utensils you need to clean, but a but, uh, really great option for that. Uh, another different style option is uh, water tanks. These come from Platypus. I've got a six liter and a four liter tank. Uh, these tanks have a really handy pour spout on the end, so once it's filled with water, we're pouring them that way. Uh, but one of the great things or uh, unique things is they actually have a watertight sort of a Ziploc zipper on the top here. And well, why would I want that? Well, you know, I talked about having to make sure this is dry and clean. Well, this guy's going to, uh, when, you, when you open it this way, you're going to get a lot faster drying. Plus, you can reach your hand in there with... Uh, with a sponge or a towel and you can dry it out and clean it out and that way you can ensure you really have uh, a very clean water container to drink out of. Um, goes without saying, make sure that you, uh, you pop the seal tight before you fill it with water and test it once water's in there. It is a watertight seal. This thing is uh, pretty close to bomb proof as long as you clip that seal shut. Um, Kind of along the same lines, but uh, you know, off the path just a hair is the Platy filtering system. And I just wanted to show you this because it uses the same features that the water tank has. But in this case, we've separated each bottle. And you can see this one says dirty on it. This one says clean on it. And we've got a filter in the middle. Um, there's a million ways to filter your water, and I'm not really going to go into the filtering today, but this system allows you to put your clean bag low, your dirty bag high, hang them up at camp. You can throw this on the ground even. It doesn't have to be hung, but hang the dirty bag, fill it with water, and while you're getting camp ready, you're setting up your tent and everything else, you're producing clean water, and that clean water is in a carryable, stowable bag. Um, once you have clean water, in this unit, you can remove the filter cap. There's a cover cap just like this guy you put on here. Now you have clean water storage for the site. Um, lastly, we have the good old Rhino Pack. Five gallons, five and a half gallons actually, of water. Not easy to transport, but awesome for the car camper. Awesome uh, during hurricane season, or if you're an area, if you're in an area prone to power outages or have uh, well problems. But you know, they're good, clean, solid water storage. You can see that this side and this side um, are molded differently. But if you really look, you'll see that this channel fits into this channel, so they're stackable. So. If you need to store a lot of water, you need to take a lot of water to a uh, campsite that you're sharing with a lot of people or maybe a Cub Scout Jamboree or something like that. Great way to transport water. Uh, good, clean, easy to stack, lots of storage. So, you know, this is six or seven ideas out of a hundred different ways you can uh, move, store, transport water around your campsite. Hope I gave you some ideas on ways to use these products and maybe generated more questions from you. And if so, please feel free to give us a call uh, or email us. Our email is customer at ack.com. Uh, we answer those emails all, all day and sometimes all night long. So give us a call, send us a note. We'll be glad to help you out. Hope I gave you some ideas and I hope you have a great time on your next trip. Thanks a lot.